to ban nearly all abortions. A federal judge blocked it today, saying it is unconstitutional. That law was set to take effect in the next month or so. It outlaws all abortions, except if the mother's health is, is at serious risk or if the fetus will not survive after birth. State lawmakers debated that bill at length before passing it, saying the intent of the law is to get it before the Supreme Court with the goal of overturning Roe versus Wade. Heard reaction today from state lawmakers, including Governor Kay Ivey, about this, saying this legislation passed with overwhelming support in the Alabama legislature and was signed into law as a testament to Alabamians' longstanding belief that every human life is sacred. She went on to say, quote, we must continue doing all we can to protect life. However, we also anticipated this challenge and I support the rule of law. I am fully behind the attorney general's handling of this case and trust that he will do everything he can to challenge today's ruling and obtain a just result. Attorney General Steve Marshall echoed the governor's sentiments, saying that this was not expected and the goal is to get to the Supreme Court. Once there, the AG says that the state will submit evidence that supports the argument that Roe and Casey were wrongfully decided and the Constitution does not prohibit states from protecting unborn children from abortion. The American Civil Liberties Union and Planned Parenthood filed the lawsuit representing abortion providers, citing that it would have dismantled abortion access for nearly one million women of reproductive age in Alabama. An attorney with the group says today's decision recognizes this ban for what it is, a blatantly unconstitutional attack on the fundamental right to abortion. Adding this ban and the others like it are the culmination of a nationwide strategy to push abortion out of reach. Alexis McGill Johnson, the acting president and CEO of Planned Parenthood, also responding, saying once again, the courts have affirmed that we have a right to access safe, legal abortion. Politicians in Alabama and across the country are putting people's health and lives at risk in their attempt to ban abortion outright in this country. We will continue to follow this story and bring you all of the developments and reaction. Just download our WVTM 13 app and when you do sign up, uh, make sure you Sign up for alerts so you know when something changes.